Okay. Match two of Frosty versus Doc. No, we don't have good pick for Falco and she uh, makes it so Falco, uh, she can't use platforms to try and get invade Falco's space. She's uh, arable mobility is kind of limited. But uh, yeah, overall we're looking at Basically, she's trying to find her way and uh, like trying to float over lasers. She's trying to. Um, yeah, it's, it's really kind of tough. Like, she basically just wants to get that opener where she can start tech chasing. Or um, if Falco is overzealous, force her into a into a gambit off stage, we can start uh, going for gimps. But uh, holding the tech chase and, or staying in the pocket um, and winning is probably the key to playing Sheik and Falco and FD. Because uh, I think it's generally generally regard that FD is Falco thing in this matchup. Oh, and Doc! Oh, Darkness is a combo, but he still clutches the stat. Um, I think. Uh, like I don't, I really don't incorporate like too much crowd canceling in my game, but um, I think uh, both sides tend to tend to have a lot of options out of crowd canceling. Um, probably, uh, probably a little bit more for Falco um, versus Sheik. Like Falco can uh, really CC a lot of Sheik's like starters and then try to muscle his way back in. Whereas the other way around, Sheik can CC, but if the Falco is quick, you know, it, it may not pay off, and instead you might get hurt. Like it's, it's really double-edged to seeing uh, Falco's approaches. So uh, yeah, that might that might burn you <laughs> when Falco just starts doing blah, 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 and builds up that damage. You're at 60% off stage now. If you try to not cancel it, down air at you know, 15 to 20 percent. So I know, um, looks like Dark's holding momentum pretty well. Uh, Frosty uh, is trying to try to recover. He's, he's having trouble closing out that last stock. Um, one, one of the main things to do is also make sure that um, you know you finish like you finish your combos, and then you also have solid edge guards. Uh, she took care took care of that stock for him. So he didn't have to build a, he have to worry about losing too much percentage. But now he's getting really good combo. He's keeping the pressure up. And then he might be able to, to swing it back in his favor. Oh, oh, the SDs. That was his last stock. So, uh, uh, things are kind of bad for the Falco, but uh, wait, 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 don't get the TV. he can still win from this position. So he gets, uh, keeps momentum right here. Finally got that grab. So as long as he keeps good stage position. Um, she stopped, uh, she kind of off and the up down, and she recovers. Oh no, he lost his. But he, oh, it doesn't kill with the up beat, but he gets a shine turnaround. Very nice. Now he has to make a two stock comeback. And um, in a tournament environment, um, if he actually takes this next stock, there'll be a lot of pressure on both players. And that's usually where all the comebacks happen. So, like, it doesn't even matter if he's at 100, because you know anything can happen. The only thing that only thing that makes a uh, makes having high percentage bad is that you lose your options to crouch down. So you have to play a very very clean game. But on FD, that's very doable because you can just keep probing, keep probing, keep probing for the right opener. Oh, I four beats. Yeah.